If you're wondering what your FSH means and if you're close to menopause, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be the first to get to see my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today I'm going to show you the importance of knowing your FSH level, whether you're premenopausal, menopausal, or postmenopausal. FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. It's produced by your pituitary gland in response to your estrogen levels. During your reproductive years, your FSH shifts throughout your menstrual cycle, low in the beginning, peaking before ovulation, and falling afterwards. Menopause healing tip number one, FSH drawn at the right time. If you're still getting periods, but you have symptoms of perimenopause, then you need to get your FSH drawn on day three to five of your cycle. Day one is the first day you bleed. Any other time of the month will not be accurate if you're perimenopausal. That's because in the first few days of your menstrual cycle, your FSH should be low. By day seven, your FSH starts to rise. If you're perimenopausal, your day three to five FSH will be over 15. That means you did not make enough estrogen in your last cycle. Now the problem in perimenopause is that some cycles you make enough estrogen, some you don't. After you stop getting your periods, your FSH can be drawn at any time of the month. Menopause healing tip number two. FSH predicts menopause. Once your FSH is over 30 and stays over 30 for at least a year, you're in menopause. Now you still may have some breakthrough bleeding that looks like a period, but your pituitary gland is clearly not satisfied with your estrogen level production. Your developing follicles produce estrogen trying to be the egg of the month. Some young women with premature ovarian failure will have an elevated FSH. If you want to determine your egg reserve, then get your AMH, anti-malarian hormone, drawn too. Women approaching menopause want to know if they still need contraception. If your FSH is rising and your AMH is below 0.5, you are no longer fertile. If you're over 50 with an FSH over 30 and you haven't had a period in a year, you no longer need contraception. Menopause healing tip number three, FSH determines your estrogen status. Once you're in menopause, FSH can help determine if you have enough estrogen from adrenal production and fat storage. Of course, if you're suffering with hot flashes, insomnia, vaginal dryness, you may need to take estrogen either through your skin or under your tongue to prevent blood clots. Most postmenopausal women feel balanced with an FSH between 30 to 40. Eventually, your pituitary gland gets used to your low level of estrogen and stops screaming at your ovaries with super high FSH production. But it takes years to calm down if you're not using hormone replacement. Some women glide through menopause because they've stored enough estrogen in their body fat and their adrenals are making enough DHEA to be converted into estrogen. About 10 to 15 years after a woman goes through menopause, her adrenals stop slowing down too then her FSH rises and she may get all the symptoms of menopause all over again. I call this a second menopause. Because of high stress levels, second menopause happens to more and more women earlier and earlier. Download my menopause checklist to determine where you might be in the change of life. Then get started in my hormone reboot training I created for you to discover how to get your hormones balanced naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's your FSH? Leave your answer in the comment in the section below and make sure you sign up for my hormone reboot training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.